Late in Bush's administration, there was a dramatic meeting in the White House Situation Room, during which fragments of a wrecked test centrifuge were put out on a conference table, despite the fact that it was unclear whether or not such a cyber attack on physical infrastructure was even conceivable. The United States then authorized permission to release the weapon. Neither country has ever publicly admitted to inventing or developing Stuxnet. The Israeli Defense Forces then commander Gabi Ashkenazi touted the malware in a retirement video made in 2011. The specific engineers responsible for Stuxnet remain unknown. Rolf Schuenberg of Kaspersky Labs speculated that it took a team of 10 programmers two to three years to develop the worm into its final form. 